Millions of people are building web apps and websites using tools like Lovable, Bolt, Replit, V0, and even Cursor. But what if you actually want a mobile app? You know, an app that you can publish to the Apple App Store. Because you know, people spend most of their times on mobile devices. In fact, people use mobile apps over 10 times more than they use browsers while using their phone. And the good news is that it's really easy to convert a web app into a mobile app. And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to convert your web app into a fully functional mobile app, one that you can submit directly to the app store without any coding. Let's not waste any time, let's dive in. Before this episode, we were cooking up a prompt yeah. that will convert a web app into a mobile app. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you just quickly break this down and then let's use it. Yeah, this is a web app that I made. I wanna convert it into a mobile app um, in React Native. Then one that would be a realistic mobile app based on this web app. Um, think like a mobile designer, yeah. And so basically this this is a prompt to get back another prompt. So why don't you go to V0 real quick? Yeah. Because what the, the, the process that we're gonna go through is we're going to download the code, right? Yeah. We're gonna download the code and we're gonna give it to Claude. Yeah. And then we're gonna give Claude the prompt that we're using right now. And that will convert this web app into a prompt that we can give to a mobile app builder. Yeah. And then we're gonna have a mobile app. Yeah. It's that easy. Yeah. Okay. So let's go through that process. Actually, first, tell us about uh, the future of Banana Burger. So this is actually something I've been working on Deep Blue Sir, <laughs> for months now. Um, yeah, revolutionary uh, SaaS, also known as software as a service, uh, mm. uh, transforms how you order, manage, and enjoy banana burgers at scale. At so scale. Previously, these weren't scalable, but yeah, yeah, scalable. Yeah. I mean, no one wants a banana burger that's not at scale. Exactly. Yeah. And so we start at 29 a month with uh, 50 banana burgers per month, but we could also- but, but like right now, like you're realizing that Gen Z is mostly on mobile and you need this you yeah. need mobile experience for uh, to scale banana burger. Yeah, no one is eating banana burgers on the web. So right. they use their phone, Gen Z is on their phone all day. And so I want this as a mobile app. So I have this beautiful website. Um, and you can download your code in V0 if you click these three dots on lovable, Replit, I'm sure it's It's literally there. the same process. Um, you can, all, all you need to do is find download zip. In fact, I know for a fact Replit and Lovable is basically in the same location. So yeah. all you do is you download the zip. And so it'll download it. And I for V0, it does not download it as a zip. It download, downloads it as a folder. Okay. Um, but we're going to need a zip file because let's just go to Claude real quick. And so this is where we're going to paste the prompt and the project in. Inside of Claude, you can upload a file. And so you can upload a file, but that's not a file, that's a folder. Right. So we need to turn this into a zip. And so on Mac, there's a compress button. I can just hit that and that'll turn it into a zip. On Windows, I'm sure they have something. Got you. So yeah, now we have a zip file. So you just upload this. Yeah, upload the zip. Zipped burger. Banana, banana zip. Banana burger yeah. zip. And then you're just pasting that prompt that we showed you earlier. And you're going to copy this. Paste then, it on into Claude. Yep. And then, um, yeah, we'll just send it. Cool. And then while that's loading, you can probably pull up your the app that we're going to be using, Vibe Code. So Vibe Code is basically Claude code in a mobile app that builds mobile apps. You can use Claude code to build mobile apps on the phone and allows you to test any app that you build directly on your phone. Yeah. And so, yeah, I have that open right here. And then all you do is press new project and whatever the output is of this, you can just paste into Vibecode. Yeah. Amazing. So we can see that Claude read like a bunch of the files and whatever, and then spat out this prompt. And it looks pretty good to me. Like, I don't really want to read it, but it seems that it got like some styling right and um, some CTA stuff, uh, call to action. And so we're just going to copy that. And now we can paste it directly into the mobile app. Yep. And now we can uh, just paste that directly into the mobile app. Cool. And then send that off. Very cool. And then we, uh, we wait for this to do its work. Sounds good. And while that's loading, let's go ahead and uh, generate a logo for it. Um, I'm thinking yeah. something like Banana Burger. So on the Vibe Code app, you don't actually have to wait for the agent to be done. You can just generate do Burger 3D Render. Yeah, maybe we can like get a banana character, banana burger man, banana burger man, <laughs> sure. Cartoon, cartoon. 
Ooh, hold on. That's kind of sick. I see. That's what I'm talking about. That's my prompt. That's That's your prompt. That's your prompt. But anyway, we're getting distracted. Let's go back and see with how the app's doing. The app is now finishing up. It's being built. And so all we've done is we took an app that we built on any other platform. In our case, it was V0. We plugged it into Claude, used this prompt, and then we plugged it into the Vibe Code app. And let's see how it did after one prompt. Boom. The future of Banana Burger. Oh, yeah. Everything you need, smart ordering. Now, these cards are exactly what I have inside of... uh, Seems to be dark mode. So it does seem in dark mode. But everything from the website is carried over. So like this everything you need card, everything is the same. Um, How it works is also the same as the website. You know, same steps. And the pricing is the exact same with the exact same, uh, you know, abilities my customers get. I want to test one thing, maybe. No. Oh, it did. Okay, so it is. Okay, so it is light mode. There you go. It looks exactly the same. Yeah, and so. That's actually insane. It literally looks exactly the same. You now have it as a mobile app, right? And show that, like, pinch. So if you pinch, you enter this mode. If you press the top, uh, part right there, yeah, the Banana Burger name. You can publish this to the App Store. You could publish Banana Burger to the App Store. Yeah. Um, but let's put this away for a sec. But um, let's say you want to add additional features to it, right? We've only done one prompt. If we go to the Image tab here, um, we can add our logo and do the the Banana Burger that you like, not him yet. All right. Okay. Actually, no. Let's add them both. So add that. Add them both, and press Enter. So you can enter these images directly into the prompt. You can just tell it to make the first image the logo and the second image the hero icon. Yeah. First logo, the icon. Second, the hero. Yep. That's it. Oh, and then when you press start free trial. You can can speak this out. When you press free trial, use this audio. And you might be thinking, what audio am I referring to? Well, you can do the same thing with audio. You can just add it right there. Boom. Enter that. Ship it. And what's cool, but you could actually click directly on. Oh, oh, yeah. Like Like you can click on it to preview. So, and then you could preview the character if you want. And that's pretty cool. And that's how you reference images and things in the prompt, which is really cool. Yeah. And then we could also, uh, you know, while we're waiting, queue more prompts. Yeah. So we don't waste any time. So I do want a page on the mobile app. It was like a like a chat for like my customers. Chat with Burger. Yeah, chat with Burger. And so I can go to this API tab at the bottom. Um, I don't think you guys. I can go to this API tab at the bottom. And in text generation, I'll use I'll use Grok for this because it's a little cheap. Um, and I can say add a like a screen, um, which allows my customers to chat all about banana burgers. Make the icon yeah. for banana burger the second image I just gave you. I would include that it's vertical orientation. Vertical orientation. Like it's not a square. Yeah. Full, like the full image. Yeah. Full image. Um, yeah. And that's it. So we can just queue that one up. Yeah. So while the agent is working, right, you added a feature which referenced multiple images and a sound effect. And then you went to the API tab, selected the API you want to add and shipped it. There we go. Look at that. So banana, it's still updating. I think it's just hot yeah, yeah. reloading. So it may not fully look like this, but you can see in the very top left of the screen, we have the icon. And you know what? Cue up another prompt real quick. So pinch. Now go to the select tab. Oh. So if you go to the select tab, select the icon at the top left. So you can select. You have to press select at the bottom. It's kind of weird. Oh, yeah. Select. Yeah. So you selected the icon, press done. Now you can literally just say, please make this. Please make this. uh, Twice as big. 
and get rid of the login button. It's yeah. blocking the title. Put it somewhere else. I don't yeah. Know. Sure. We'll see what, um, you know, it is Claude Code. Claude Code will figure it out. All right. It's done. And so, yeah, so you're, uh, the icon is bigger, two times bigger. Yep. Exactly. The login button's gone, and I have this chat feature. There you go. Now you can chat. I'm your banana burger expert. Um, then I'm, what is a banana burger? You know, for someone who wouldn't know. Obviously, everyone knows. Yep. Oh. And then the icon comes there. Oh, man. Where do I even start, dude? <laughs> Grok's fast. Yeah. Super fast. Healthy Watt. Dude, it just tells me everything about banana burgers. And that's amazing. And it's like that's, a conversational AI. So it like remembers context. And that's stuff. amazing. Like we literally took an app that we created. And again, this works on every single platform. And we created a better version for a mobile app. Right here with Banana Burger, we created an icon. Um, wait, click start free trial. Welcome, welcome to Beanie. There it is. We added sound effects and we added AI functionality. And then also, if you wanted to have users sign in, you could use Vibe Code Cloud, yeah. which we're going to talk about in the next few weeks. Go ahead and zoom out for a sec, pinch, and click App Store. And if you want to submit your app to the App Store, all you have to do is hit Publish to App Store. And now you can go through this flow. Once you go through this once, once you like configure everything, um, you're you're good. You're good to go. You can submit as many apps as you want to the App Store. And we're trying to make it as easy as possible to get it on the App Store. That yeah. is the flow that you would go through. And then you would just generate an app icon for it. And then you would send it off to test flight. Yeah. And yeah, that is how you go from web app to mobile app. Let us know if you guys want this feature, like a one-click button solution for this. Yeah, so I've been, we... throughout this video, I've been thinking about what the best use case would be. Probably just like import from V0 or import from Replit. Yeah, yeah. Or something like that. I'm not sure how we could do it, but I'm sure we could come up with something. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you guys here for the next video.